Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Cast. I'm with my friends Rich and Ashley Pizzuti from Lowell, Massachusetts, who are photographers, are wedding photographers based out there, and they're also Inspire Photo Retreat presenters. Um, welcome to the show, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. It's uh, great to be here. Right off the bat, I want to ask you, I mean, you, you and I talked before we started recording. You uh, applied to be a presenter at Inspire last year, and... Uh, the 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 uh, submission that you've made wasn't accepted, but this year you got accepted, and we wanted to know what it is that you're going to be presenting at Inspire this year. Right, uh, we're really excited. We're going to be presenting about business plans and okay. how they can affect a photographers' small business. Okay, why is it important for photographers to have a business plan? Most well, people don't, probably, right? Well, yeah. I mean, when you think of it, we all have a plan, right? We want. It's to all up here, though. Yeah, it's all up in your head, and you want to pick up a camera, and you want to get clients, and you want to make money. Right. That's every photographer's business plan. So we all have them. Mm -hmm. um, and I think when we started our business seven years ago, um, we, we went through a lot of um, kind of like philosophical discussions on where we want to take our business, how we want it to get there. Um, and Ashley and I are complete opposites. She's the optimist. And I'm sort of the pessimist, but I tell people I'm a more realist, right? So when we said, you know, we want to book 30 weddings next year, um, Ashley would say, well, let's write a plan and then we'll do it. And, and I thought, well, why does writing it down make it happen? Right. And, you know, we kind of had that debate ongoing. And, um, and then I, we actually saw... Um, a, a SCORE council. Are you familiar with SCORE? Yes. Um, the retired business people who help out young small businesses. And the first thing that they asked us when we went to a meeting was, do you have a business plan? And I said, why do I need one of those? <laughs> um, and, you know, the, the gentleman broke it down and gave us a little bit of structure in terms of how to uh, plan for success. And, I, and there's that old adage, uh, those who fail to plan or planning to fail, right? And I think that um, is true in a sense, and it, it isn't because some people um, can be fortunate or they're just driven in a way that success comes naturally to them. But I think having a plan allows you to um, kind of see where what you're doing right and see what you're doing wrong so you, things can change. And I think my first um, feeling towards a business plan was I didn't want to write it down because I didn't want to be stuck with that particular plan. And I think the nature of a business plan is to be changed right. constantly, every year, maybe every six months, even in, in when you consider the um, marketing plans within the entire business plan, you can look back and say, well, I did these 10 things. How did I do? And when when you don't have that structure, you can get off on tangents that um, maybe take take some things away from your business or your life or or whatever in in regards to a small business and and, and that. Uh, go on. Yeah, I was gonna say it's kind of like the way that I see it is almost like a road map. Mm, the yeah, way to get to somewhere you don't know is mm -hmm. to follow a map. Right. And so having a business plan, you know, especially in in the marketing, it's like, oh, I want to do this this year. And, oh, I want to have a mini session in the fall this year. And I want to do this. And being able to sit down in January and actually write those out and say, this is what I'm going to do. This is my marketing strategy for those. You know, you're not, you know, it's not September and you're like, okay, well, now I want to market this. How do I do it? And you're overwhelmed and, you know, you have all of these things that you want to do. Now you actually say, okay, well, let's look back and say, this is what I was going to do. And it's already, everything kind of falls in place so you don't get as overwhelmed. And then, you know, the, the part about our business um, is you get all these ideas and then they never um, develop because you get overwhelmed and you start the project and then you're so overwhelmed that you just don't end up doing it. And this way it's kind of like, well, here's my plan. You know, I need to follow these plans to get from A to B to C, mm -hmm. you know, and I really want to end on the year on D. I can't do, I can't get to D without doing those other things. Indeed. Indeed. So it keeps you straight and honest. Accountable. Right. Accountable. There's a right. self accountability there. Um, how, how is a plan different from a strategy though? 
I think the the entire plan is a, a collection of of strategies and ideas. It breaks down your business. I mean, the general if you Google the standard business plan, um, you know, it's going to start with your executive summary, which I realize you write after you write everything else, and um, just how do you want your business structured? Not only today, but yeah. tomorrow. If it's when we started, it was just Ashley and I. Now we have a couple people that are doing some, you know, contract work for us in terms of um, second shooting, um, editing, uh, post production, um, administration work. Um, I think having a business plan and, and doing it kind of the long way allows you to almost build the fantasy business that you want, that you want to see in five years. It doesn't have to be exactly. Um, the amount of money you have in your bank account. It could be, well, if I really want to open up um, a studio in downtown Boston, I'm going to need X amount of money. I'm going to need to advertise. It's going to cost my utilities this. Mm -hmm. It gives you a sense of reality. Yeah. And also it's sort of a fantasy world that you're playing in because you want to get somewhere um, and there's only one way to do it and it's step by step. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, do you recommend using a template or do you suggest uh, literally going with a blank piece of, a piece of paper and just just diving in and putting your own own words to it? Um, I think it's a, generally I like to start kind of just putting it out all on the paper, um, but then finding a very structured template and taking all of those notes and organizing it. Right. Um, you definitely want to kind of follow a normal standard business plan. I mean, they've been around since the beginning of business. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And um, they've kind of, you know, stayed true to the test of time. And there's a reason why it's structured the way that it is. Um, so, yeah, definitely, you know, get the notes out there. You know, kind of start a journal. Write, it, write things down. Have a notebook on you so you wouldn't have when you come up with those ideas, you're writing them down right away and you're not forgetting them. And then you go back and we usually sit down in January and February, revisit the year, look at our finances. What, how did we do last year? How did we compare from the year before? You know, what do we need to do? Where can we improve? Where, where can we improve? Where can we cut costs so we can make these things happen? Okay. Okay. If there's one thing that you'd like to tell future Inspire Photo Retreat attendees, folks who are, you know, eager to come and check uh, the, the, the event out and definitely come and watch you guys and watch your presentation. What, would, what was that one thing that you'd say to them to just keep them like salivating for more? Um, there is no way about it. Having a business plan is going to take your business farther than if you had nothing to start with. Okay. For sure. And I, I, I your just, business will not get worse. I promise you. <laughs> and I assume that you, what your your advice is also to start right now, right? I mean, well, they say that the best time to plant a tree is twenty years ago, right? And the next best time is today. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much for for our quick conversation here with uh, Rich and Ashley Pizzuti. I look forward to seeing you both in Portland, Maine in 2015. It's going to be cold, but hey, it's going to be awesome. So <laughs> Thanks. I, look for, I look forward to the, the, the convention as well. So take care. Take care, Sashu. Bye. Bye.